Hey crazy loves, back at it. It is time for March favorites. Can you believe it? Yes, indeed. So here goes. This is what we have been loving for the month of March. Stay tuned if you want to take a look. First and foremost, coming off the winter months, I have been loving this uh, Cetaphil Moisturizing Cream. It says it's for dry and sensitive skin. Um, again, this was purchased at um, either Sam's or Costco. They're on sale, I think right now. They may not be on sale anymore, but they're literally like $10. But you get about 20 ounces in there. This stuff is amazing. It's very creamy, thick consistency. I mean, I love it. I can show you a little bit of the consistency here on the back of my hand. You see there? Just rubs in. You put it on your feet. Just totally amazing. Love it. So if you've never tried Cetaphil, try it. They have the uh, cream, they have the lotion, and they have uh, the face wash, which is more like a cream consistency so it doesn't lather. So if you love a lather, you may not love it, but mix it with something that does lather just to kind of still give you that moisturization. The other thing is a drugstore product as well, and it is the Queen Helene Mint Julep Mask. And so this thing is phenomenal in helping to um, dry up any oil and draw out all those blackheads and those crazy things that we hate. Um, put it on your face. Let it stay for about 15 minutes. Uh, it says it helps to dry acne pimples, rinse away blackheads, and shrink in large pores. And it definitely does the job. And you can see I have been using this. I use it about two or three times a week. Walgreens, Walmart, two or three dollars. No, not two dollars, maybe closer to four or five dollars. There's usually not manufacturer coupons on Queen Helene, but these are definitely affordable and I am loving it. Sticking with skincare, I've also been indulging in this L'Oreal Youth Co. Texture Perfector Pore Vanisher. So, you know, you guys and girls know I love the Youth Code uh, face wash. Which is, by the way, I cannot find it anywhere anymore. So, if you see it on the shelves anywhere, comment below and let me know. Because I have not seen it. And I love that stuff. I freaking love it and I cannot find it. But this is the Texture Perfector Pore Vanisher. And I generally put this on after moisturizer, before makeup. And, you know, it does the trick. So, I guess it can kind of, you know, double as a primer or something for dry skin and I don't really suffer from dry skin a lot but during the uh, winter months I find that my skin is a little bit drier but my lips my lips get so dry I've been using this Tarte Maracuja oil and this is just a sample size that I received in you know one of the gift sets or you know as a Sephora VIB gift or something like that but it does have kind of like the um what is it called? You know, the little push top where it pulls up. But I literally just put it on my lips or on my skin and just kind of rub it in. I've heard of people using it on their cuticles and things like that. It is non-greasy, but it is a must-have. And I will definitely continue to use this. Um, some people put a couple drops like in their moisturizer and things like that. And it works that way. So check it out have you tried it another thing is that this has been hit or miss but i found that i had a miss on the full size but i kept one of the sample sizes and this is the Too faced shadow insurance anti-crease shadow primer and again this is a small one that i received probably as a free gift or part of a gift set or whatnot and I've really liked I've really been liking this um, nothing really bad to say about this it hasn't had that like watery discharge or uh, anything like that I know that uh, there's been some youtubers like I know Emily Noel she used to love this stuff and then she maybe got a couple bad batches or whatever I did get a bad batch on the full size but I am really loving the sample size as opposed to my miss which is this freaking e.l.f. eyelid primer. I love the original e.l.f. eyelid primer, but this one, this pearl one, not the business, ladies and gents, not the business. 
So look at this. It's white. It does have a doe foot applicator, but it is true. And last but certainly not least is L'Oreal Paris uh, number 502 Plum Adagio. And this is one of their liquid um, lipstick extraordinaires. Now, this is not one of those liquid lipsticks that dries into a matte. This is more of a gloss. But this is definitely a vampy color and I am loving it. It's more like a wine. Oops. More like a wine color. And it is amaze balls. So I have been loving that. I mean, use it as a topper. Be careful when you put it on because you want to make sure you don't bleed out anything around your lips. So use your anti feathering pencil around it and put it on and, you know, have tons of fun with it. So, yeah. So not too, too many faves, but just enough. Uh, February is a short month, like we all know. Or, excuse me, Mar February was a short month, but March seemed even shorter. Maybe because of the, all the spring breaks and stuff. But, hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to thumbs up, like, subscribe, share it with your homies. We love you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.